Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. In today's video I will be talking to you about streaming, the value of streaming, is, is it actually worth it, versus a platform called Bandcamp where you can actually upload and sell your music in, and other things in different formats. I previously did videos on music distributors such as DistroKid and Ditto and I thought that it would be worth actually covering the topic of Bandcamp because actually Bandcamp is a very good solution, especially for small and independent artists. Let's start from a question. Is streaming actually a scam when it comes to small and independent artists? Well, we know one thing that actually a, a massive sort of share of the market when it comes to streaming, for example, Spotify, actually belongs to big record companies so actually small artists only kind of uh, account for like a very very small percentage of the income that actually comes out of spotify what's important to know is how much an artist actually gets paid per stream of the song when they actually upload those songs to those streaming platforms there is a website called Headphone SD that I found that they actually show how much these individual streaming platforms pay per stream. So the first one here is Tidal, which is actually the one that pays artists the most, and that's $0.013. Then we've got Apple Music that pays $0.01 per stream. YouTube Music. 0.008 dollar these pay 0.0064 dollar amazon music pay 0.004 spotify pay 0.0033 and pandora pay 0.0013 right and actually this this website here headphone sd are showing us also how many streams you need as an artist to get to 1000 to actually earn $1,000 okay and all and again Tidal you need the least amount of streams obviously because obviously they pay the most per stream so you need actually to accumulate 76,924 streams in order to be paid $1,000 then you've got Apple Music, that's 100,000 streams. YouTube Music, that's 125,000 streams. These, uh, that's, that gives us 156,250. Amazon Music, that's 250,000 streams if you wanted to earn $1,000. Spotify, it's 303,000 streams in order to get $1,000. And Pandora, that's 769,231 streams if you wanted to earn $1,000 from your streams. So as you can see, this is quite a lot and you need to accumulate a lot of these streams. A lot of people need to listen to you and probably on repeat in succession or you need to be on this, some of these playlists and, and so on and so forth in order to actually even earn as as little I suppose as one thousand dollars because what's one thousand dollars you know if if we talk say over a period of 12 months so say if you wanted to do music full-time as an artist and you want to start earning money you know to, su to sustain you to support you know your livelihood well that's definitely not going to cover it so one thousand dollars a year is not going to uh, support your livelihood your your living so moving on from there, I just wanted to demonstrate to you actually how much I personally invested in streaming my music this year when I released my album and, and I also released a couple more singles versus how much this actually generated in monetary value. Okay, so I'm just going to look at my Dito account because as I said in my some of my previous videos, I'm no longer with Dito as in I don't, I don't longer have any of my songs on Ditto but I still have the account here and I can actually look it up so effectively I paid 19.99 pounds British pounds uh, to sort of have my music streamed 
through Detho and that was kind of like the cheapest option that there was at the time. So I've invested around, you know, 20 pounds effectively to have these songs available on streaming platforms. And now throughout that period, I actually released my album in February 2022 and then I released my next single was prob probably around sort of uh, July time and then the third one I can't actually remember now but it was kind of like maybe a couple of months later overall the information that Dito gives me here is up to September 2022 and there's always a, like a three month delay with that information but I think that I can safely assume that you know maybe there will be a little bit more from it but probably not that much so I've had 9145 streams in total on all platforms and these streams generated four pounds and 69 pence for me. So effectively what we're talking about, so even if we sort of rounded that up to five pounds, I paid 20 pounds to actually get my music streamed through Dito and my sort of income generated from that is only five pounds. So that's only 25% of what I've actually paid. So I've actually, I've actually lost money on it and not only that because I was with Ditto previously I wouldn't be able to actually get out any money until such time when I've actually accumulated at least 25 pounds and only after sort of crossing that 25 pounds threshold I would be able to then withdraw my money I'm now with DistroKid and it's different with DistroKid I think you can actually get your money sort of straight away with DistroKid so that's a bit of a better option because you don't have to wait you know to accumulate a certain specific amount however i actually pay more with this trocade than i paid with detail music so again the cost of my of uploading my music for streaming is is actually more expensive if you are a bigger artist than me of course if you get more streams you will have more money you will have accumulated more money so i'm not saying you know if, if maybe if i push a bit a bit more and i get on those playlists and so on and so forth perhaps that situation will change and eventually i will start sort of breaking even or even actually making some money out of my streams i'm not i'm not saying that's impossible but all, all i'm saying is that obviously the the investment that you need to make initially is is far greater to, to what you kind of probably could expect and actually the amount that you get paid per stream is actually very very low and you need to have lots of these streams probably going into millions of streams to actually start generating something that is you know something that will allow you to perhaps survive you know or support yourself a little bit as an artist so let's move on to Bandcamp and the reason why I wanted to talk about Bandcamp is because I actually see Bandcamp as a very very good alternative for independent musicians and for independent artists. Bandcamp is an American company and effectively you can upload your tracks to Bandcamp with no fees sort of upfront. So, Effectively, like I already explained, if you wanted to have your music streamed on Spotify, YouTube Music, Deezer, Tidal and all the different platforms, you have to pay a distributing company in advance as a, a set fee so that they will then upload the, your songs onto those streaming platforms. With Bandcamp, that's very different because you only need to basically create your account on Bandcamp and you don't need to pay them anything upfront. There's no fees whatsoever. Once you've got the account created, you can effectively upload your albums, your EPs, individual tracks, singles, you name it. Now, with Bandcamp, what's really cool is that you can actually sell music in various formats. So you can actually sell digital copies of your music so digital downloads effectively, you can sell CDs, you can sell cassettes, you can sell uh, set up vinyls and I think even to a point where Bandcamp themselves I think offer vinyl sort of production and I think you can order that with them and I can, they can actually do that for you as well for, for obviously for a fee but you can also sell merch, you can sell your t-shirts, you can sell any sort of, of other items as well in terms of your merch on, on Bandcamp itself. So let me just take you through the fees because actually what happens with Bandcamp is they charge you once you make a sale. So let's just have a look at that quickly. 
So Bandcamp fees are for digital items, Bandcamp fees 15%, and this rate drops to 10% as soon as you reach 5,000 US dollars in sales and stays there provided that you've made at least $5,000 in the past 12 months. For physical items, Bandcamp's fee is 10%, shipping tax, if applicable, are not included when calculating this fee. And also what they say here is the payment process or fees are separate and vary by transaction size, but typically range between 4 and 6%. So this is quite important. To, to know that yeah once once you kind of sell something on Bandcamp they will take that fee of 15% or 10% or, or maybe some extra add-ons as well for processing payments. However, in a in a long run I think I think this is a lot better option for independent artists. So yeah it's okay to keep your music on streaming platforms. And I keep doing that, you know I'm not I'm not removing them from there because again like once I you know, and I still try and push them onto playlists and, and you know, to sort of drum more, drum up more interest about my music and to kind of gain more, more fan base, a bigger fan base. However, when it, when it comes to your sort of loyal fans and people who actually follow you and want to support you, and actually that message not, don't only just go to artists, but it also goes to people who like music and who, who want to support your favorite artists. So if you really want to do that, the best way to do that these days would be to go on Bandcamp and actually buy something from the band or from the artist. So you can buy a track, you can buy an album, buy an EP, actually order a CD, that kind of thing, or any piece of merchandise, because that way these artists can actually generate a lot more income from their music. I've actually made like a couple of hundred pounds this year on Bandcamp versus that sort of five pounds or almost five pounds for streaming. And you know, that's like 9,000, you know, over 9,000 streams. On Bandcamp, I sold quite a few CDs that people actually wanted. Also, people bought my digital album quite a few times. So through those sites, like I say, you know, there is definitely a difference if people really want to support you especially if you got a physical item or people want to sort of buy your digital tracks and they can store them on the device on the phone or whatever you know and then listen to that you know when they kind of on the way anyway you know put, put that on the headphones you know i think that's a lot better option and i think think people really need to be aware of that so I would definitely recommend that option to small sort of artists that are only just starting up, independent artists, because, and, and also to people who want to support these artists, because Bandcamp is definitely a better way of doing that than just kind of streaming their music on streaming platforms. Something else I need to add is that Bandcamp actually now, or ha they have had this for a while, and I think I actually they actually started that during the COVID-19 pandemic was that they in introduced these Bandcamp Fridays. So every so many weeks on a Friday, they effectively drop all their fees. So all the money goes to the artist. And if you're, smart, if you're smart and you kind of keep track on those particular Fridays and you can advertise it to your audience, to your fans, then, then you can actually make sure that they buy your stuff on those particular Fridays and that way, you get all the money so Bandcamp doesn't actually charge you any fees so that's how cool is that to sum up if you're a small artist an independent artist and you want to have your music out there it's fine to pay for streaming it's fine to go with a music distributor but you need to keep in mind that you're not going to be generating probably a massive amount of income from that and actually you could be at a loss going with Bandcamp if you can sell it out if you can advertise it if you can promote it to your fan base and to people who like your music want to listen to your music it's definitely a better option if you actually want to generate some income and actually start making some money from your art because through Bandcamp you can actually sell these things you can sell your tracks you can sell your dig digital copies physical copies merchandise and actually quite a lot of that money goes to even if you pay Bandcamp fees the money goes to you and I think that's a lot better option. So 
if you want to be supported if, or if you so if you are a music fan who wants to support an artist definitely go with Bandcamp and by the way this video isn't sponsored by Bandcamp so just so you know this this is just my personal opinion I haven't actually been paid for saying this stuff or making this video today so thank you very much for watching I hope that this is helpful to you please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me grow and develop it because it's really important so I can make more videos like this, I can help independent artists like yourself to get further and to sort of expand in your music journey. See you in my next video.